Hi everyone, I'm Brenda and I'm here again today to bring you your weekly Angel Tarot card reading for the week of October the 30th to November the 6th, 2017. I want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking, and sharing these videos with your family members and friends. As you know, this is strictly a general reading and every single card for every single day of the week cannot apply to every single person in the universe. But if you'd like clarity, accuracy, and answers to any questions, I can give that to you in a private reading. So I welcome you to go up there, press that button, and it will take you to my website where you can see the services that I offer and how to schedule either a private reading with me or a private Reiki session treatment healing with me. Today we're going to be doing the four elements, fire, earth, air, and water. And we're going to start our week off with the fire signs and they encompass Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. We start our week off, my friend, on Monday with the King of Fire. And fire cards set our creative juices in motion and it's all about self-development and going places we normally wouldn't go and taking risks we normally wouldn't take, all in favor of our personal self-development. I want you to know that any projects you're involved in and working on right now, know now is the time to take charge. You can go ahead with these things and focus on the issues at hand. I see that some of you have the ability to take on the leadership role and you can and, and I want you to do that. Focus on your prior and prioritize, okay? Focus and prioritize and let go of any unimportant distractions right now. Okay? This is all about your personal self development. So move forward with this. I see that there may be someone that you know that is talented and friendly and they're going to offer you their help their assistance, please know that you can trust it and accept it graciously. I also see that some of you are learning from your past mistakes and you've now gained uh, new abilities to deal with the issues at hand because of the learning of the lessons that you've had. I see some of you may be taking up a new hobby uh, and mastering a new art form. Please know that you may also be looked upon as a role model. Step up. You can do this. You have, I see that some of you have leadership uh, qualities and the ability to do that. So please uh, know that you may take a leap of faith and, you know, and risks that you normally wouldn't take, but it is a move forward and I see you are gaining even more confidence than you normally have. On Tuesday. You've been given a water card, and water cards are our relationship cards. And sometimes they're romantic and intimate, and other times they're not. Um, it is a great card. It's a card of celebration. It's a card of happy times. And I see that some of you will be celebrating with friends, perhaps a wedding, an anniversary, um, a graduation, or the birth of a baby right now. Uh, this shows me that some of you are enjoying the company of others and your friends around you. I see that you're getting involved in a team effort, joining others, uh, you know, other people that you can have fun with, other people that you enjoy their company with. I see that some of you will be receiving something in the form of abundance. Please know that it can come in the form of time. Perhaps some of you are getting time off work. I see that some of you, you know, are going to get effort because abundance comes in time, effort, or money. Getting help with a project, perhaps, an event that you're involved in, that type of effort that's going to be made forward and given forward and paid forward to you. And, of course, I see some of you are going to be receiving money that you've been expecting. I see others. This was sort of an unexpected money that's coming in. Um, so it can be time, effort, or money that some of you are going to be uh, receiving. Um, I also see that some of you are healing emotionally and healing physically as well. You've been through some trying times, and I th see things are getting better now in the health department. Um, I do see that you'll be inviting others into your friendship, your circle of people around you, and putting trust in them. It's a time for sharing your happy feelings, my friend the three of water. 
Unity, major card for Wednesday, crowning your week. Unity is all about, um, uh, I, you, you know, seeing things with traditional viewpoints or methods. I do see that uh, some of you have had some constraints put on you, okay, uh, with things that you've been doing and, and now you need to let it go, okay. It's a time for you to find some new guidelines that will be more beneficial to your needs in any projects or any events or anything that you're working on right now, any issues in your life right now. Um, I see that some of you are going to join um, some spiritual group. I see that you want to surround yourself with others with the same interests, goals, morals, and uh, more like-minded individuals like you. Tapping into your own intuition, I see that there's certain rules that have been imposed upon some of you, either by your family or society, that no longer serves you. So, my friend, seek out mentors now and like-minded people to surround yourself with. That was unity for Wednesday. Two of air, <coughs> excuse me, for Thursday. <coughs> and air cards have to do with injustice that people bring in. And I said this before, where they stir the pot up and you have to make fair and just decisions and choices that are determined around these individuals. <coughs> and they're not really fun. Also, it has to do with the actual legal system. Some of you may be dealing with lawyers. I see some of you, it's matrimonial. Some of you, it's disbursement of property. Some of you, it uh, could be a traffic infraction, something that's come up. Uh, perhaps you've been subpoenaed to be a witness. It can be custody suits. It can be all sorts of things that have to do with legal issues. I see that some of you are avoiding an issue, okay? Um, being unable to make uh, a decision, and I also see you repressing your true feelings. It's not a good idea to suppress your feelings, whether it's disappointment, anger, hurt feelings, and so on, just to mention a few. It's time to step up now and not shut your feelings out, okay, and, and ignore them. Please think carefully when you do express them. So this shows me that some of you are stepping up on your platform. I see that you're going to be able to speak your truth, okay. I do see some of you, you know, of course, will be seeking out professional assistance there to guide you when you do step up to speak your truth. Um, you can't pretend that there's not a problem, and you've got to deal with that problem. Okay, it's time to move forward and make a decision. I see some of you might have been ignoring or blocking out others around you because you're afraid to let your true feelings surface. So please step up. Make that decision to speak your peace and your truth because you're going to free yourself. You're going to feel so much better. Nine of fire, a fire card for... Monday, Tuesday, Friday. So this is telling me that um, some of you are feeling vulnerable and cautious about something in your life right now, okay? So whether it's a bad relationship experience um, in your life or whether it's, uh, you know, and it, you need to prepare yourself to move forward, okay? Don't give up. Protect what it is you you have created. Um, I see you've developed more strength and have gained wisdom from this experience. I see some of you are more self-aware, but you still feel cautious, okay, about falling into the same experiences. You're worried that things are going to end up again the way that you had not wanted them to, and this experience has evolved and made you feel. You need to stop regretting the past, okay? Uh, my guides are telling me, uh, and take the lesson it taught you to move forward in a more positive direction. I get it, okay? And yes, you need to protect what you created and continue to believe, okay, in yourself. Don't give up no matter what, okay? Uh, things don't have to repeat themselves if they were not good experiences. And I want you to hold your head high. This was Nine of Fire for Friday. Seven of Water for Saturday. And seven of water, water cards again, as I said, have to do with relationships. And sometimes they're romantic and sometimes they're not. Um, this is telling me that, um, oh, I see that some of you are concerned and worried about a situation or a project that you've been working on and that you've been involved in. I want you to know that my guides show me that this is unwarranted worry. Okay, so don't worry about this anymore. Things will work out in your favor. 
Um, stop procrastinating, okay? Um, don't worry about these things. It's only a temporary standstill. Often what happens is, um, you know, you worry for nothing. I see that some of you have too many options and you can't make your mind up what direction to go in. I see that you can't get organized or make your mind up. I see some of you are actually fantasizing about uh, your love life and where or how it should go or how you had wished it could go and sometimes it causes just such major disappointments that you may it may make you want to give up completely even wanting to pursue this love life that you dreamed up this beautiful story about um, I see others are working day and night on their jobs and you need to or projects or events that you're working on and it's getting a bit much so please know that you may need to let go and let and relax a bit more okay you need to re recharge your batteries indulge yourself and take time for yourself and enjoy a little more laid-back living that was the seven of earth that was the seven of water <laughs> that was the seven of water I'm sorry that was for Saturday, and that was the Seven of Water. The Seven of Earth was sitting with it, so I picked up the wrong card. That's okay. Now we go on to the Earth card, which has to do with uh, Mother Earth and the ecosystem, because it is an Earth card. But it also has to do with um, uh, the material part of our lives, the jobs, careers, and professions, and how we bring that abundance into our lives. Also, it has to do with our closest circle, which is our family members or people we feel close enough to bring into our circle and call them our family. So, okay, so I see some of you have put out a proposal or an idea or a proposition um, at your place of employment. Um, I see that you're concerned and worried about this situation, okay? You're worried that, you know, um, how was it received? How are they going to react to it? I want you to know that my guides are showing me that it, you don't need to worry about this. Okay, <clears throat> again, they say don't worry about this issue. Things are going to work out in your favor. <clears throat> if things have not moved forward as fast as you thought they would, don't worry about that either. It's only a temporary standstill. Okay, and it shows me that some of you are worried about this and you're wondering why haven't I heard. Okay, I see that some of you may have put out, like I said, a proposal or a resume, a resume or an idea and you're waiting to see how it was received and how they're going to react to it. And I see that, my friend. Okay, so stop worrying. Those seeds you planted were planted well, all right? At the end of the reading, I did incorporate that one oracle card. And again, I chose the deck, Answers from Our Angels. And they gave you this. Listen to your own intuition, okay? So basically, it's time to listen to your inner feelings and thoughts known as your intuition, excuse me. Trust that what you're thinking about is true. If you're thinking about an individual or someone and you think something about them, know that it's true, okay? Have faith about your feelings, about your circumstances that you're in right now and you're experiencing, okay? Trust it. There's no need to question what you feel and know right now because your angels are telling me it's all accurate, okay? So trust and listen to your intuition. If you're thinking these thoughts, know that your angels and guides are telling you you're right on target. It's true. I wish you a great remainder to today and a wonderful optimistic week to look forward to again, my friend. And again, I leave you with another quote. And it's an old, old quote I've used before and it's very, very simple. And it is this. And it's Maya Angelou again. And it is, the cage bird sings. Why? Because she has a song. See you again soon, my friends, and know that I continue to stand in that circle of light for you.